floor, can. Hey, this is Mark Parham, and I'm coming back at you with little Jerry Brown, Mind Power. That's what we're going to be talking about here for the next few minutes. My cat little minute tonight is about five skills and wills it takes to be a great entrepreneur. You know, oftentimes the word great is it's overused, but used mistakenly. You know, when we see greatness, we wonder what makes up this mystical level of performance. Is it, is it in the genes? Is it luck? Maybe there's something given to us by a higher power, but I'll tell you one thing. It's people that are top performers. You know, a lot goes into it. So when we look at great athletes or entrepreneurs, you know, they're successful. The one thing they have in common is that they're all wired with heaping spoons of skills and will. They have both, okay? Skills with no will. Having a skill is necessary to reach great success. But that alone is just a piece of the pie. You have to improve your skills, but it takes something else. It takes will willpower to make up the other half of that recipe and it's mental it dictates our physical it it controls our efforts to succeed or fail you know when we think about the people that if they didn't have will it would be kind of hard like michael jordan or steve Jobs, tiger woods mark Zuckerberg, muhammad ali or oprah winfrey without the will that they had the skills wouldn't matter you know, we think about the little engine that could. It's, it's a great story of mental toughness, but great skills don't work alone. So those of you that have put the work in and effort into a specific craft know what sacrifice means. So we're going to talk about a few skills that you got to have and then a few wills that you got to have in order to move to greatness. One skill you got to have is authenticity. Letting people know that you not only understand but you know what you think and how you feel. It builds connectivity. Allow your personal and your business story to be heard, but be truthful about it. People want to trust you. They want to do business with you. And being true to yourself, you can win fans that will help your business grow. Skills number two is decisiveness. You you have to be decisive. If you're indecisive, you, you won't make any decisions. You'll keep going back and forth. Sometimes you've got to be decisive. And as I listen to, you know, Les Brown say, if you're going the wrong way, just turn around and go back the other way. That's probably the right way. So you've got to make a decision. You've got to move forward. Progress can only be made by making decisions. So don't not make them. Go ahead and make it. Another skill of having tough skin. One thing entrepreneurs must endure is rejection. Not everyone's going to believe in your you or your idea or they may not want your product. The great news is that your belief doesn't require anyone else's belief. During the rough times, revisit your why and don't let anybody try to deter you or take your dreams away. It's yours to win or lose. You can't blame anyone else. Number four, networking. As an entrepreneur, your time is extremely valuable. You've got all these to-dos, everybody asking you to do things. Connecting with people remains the number one skill of an entrepreneur. So you got to make sure when you connect, it's with a purpose, okay? Don't just go and just to hang out when you go to these networking events. Don't underestimate the power of people resources. Get from behind the computer or on the phone and cultivate the relationships personally, face-to-face, all right? You've got to get out there. And number five, this is probably the most important one of all these, you got to find a way to kill that stress. You combine compassion and stress together, you get a deadly cocktail, sometimes a poor thinking and bad decision-making. So energy is an invaluable asset as an entrepreneur, but your energy gets wiped out, so you've got to find a way to manage your stress. You've got to find a way to de-stress yourself so you can walk away and come back refreshed. And now for the wills. Just three of them. I'll be right out. We're going to get right to this conversation. Will number one, you've got to have perseverance. This is the mother of all wills. You've got to have it. The pathway to success will be void of challenges, but you've got to have perseverance. Your ability to navigate and assess the different situations that arise become essential in your success. How you react and respond to different obstacles is a mental exercise worth working on. So push it and gain confidence. Number two, you have to have the will to succeed. It's the one thing to dream about success, but visualizing it means making it real. 
I don't know if it's really happening. So you gotta, you gotta have this will. You gotta know that you can. You gotta put yourself in a position and act out how it would be. A lot of times you hear about athletes, you know, Michael Jordan shoot the basket, seeing the ball go in before he made the shot. So you gotta will those balls in. And the last one is improvement. You can't grow without constant improvement. You gotta get better every day. You gotta learn. You gotta study. You got to do things that help you understand, take it to the next level. Because to be an entrepreneur is one thing, but to be a great one, you have to work at it. So these are skills and wills coming to you from Mark Fryer, Cat Builder Talk, Cat Builder Minute. 